Hello everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we have an Android device in front of us and we are taking a look at a way how you can browse through the incognito mode on your Android. Well, it depends on which web browser you use, but uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy, so it has uh, the Samsung web browser as well as the Google Chrome built in. So let's begin with the Chrome. If you open up the Google Chrome, you can see you are in the basic section, you can browse through some of the news and stuff, and you can always just create a new, uh, you can type in whatever you want, you can always just go to visit any website, tap on YouTube, whatever that is, but you can of course uh, just create a new tab, browse the web normally. However, if you click on the button within this square, which indicates open tabs, you can see like this, here are all the open tabs and you can always create a new one. However, if you want to create an incognito one, you have to tap on the three dots at the top and you can see new incognito tab. So it gives you a bunch of different things, the usual information you know about, and now you can go to Google or browse the web the regular way. So that's how you can get inside of the incognito mode. Of course, keep in mind that all the cookies and everything, it's just not going to be remembered. So that's just the nature of how it works. Anyways, if you want to use some other web browser, let me just show you what it looks like inside of this built-in one from Maya, from uh, Samsung. So you can see you are inside of this main section where you have quick access to Google, all the good stuff. But if you want to go to the incognito mode, the process is very similar. So you just click on the, the button, which indicates tabs within the web browser. This time it's located at the bottom and you can see you can add new tab. The layout is different, obviously. You can probably swipe to delete them, but you also have the secret mode, which is the equivalent of incognito mode. It's the same thing, basically. You have some other options in here. You just have to click on start and you are inside of the incognito mode. You can see because of this icon in the upper left corner, there's um, just a way to like not remember the cookies and all the stuff that you visit. So it may be a useful way to, uh, to use the web browser, but as you can see, it looks different because uh, that's the different web browser, the built-in one, not Google Chrome. So if you have some kind of other web browser downloaded from the Play Store, it's going to work even differently. So it really depends on the exact, exact app, but always just go to the multiple tabs view and then turn on the incognito mode from there. So that's a wrap up for this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and found it valuable. For more content and information like this in the future, make sure to hit the thumbs up as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and your support. I will catch you later on in the future. Peace out till then.